What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today's video, we are going over three more lose rods and reels that I have got. Uh, we're going to talk about some moving baits though. I've had a lot of people over on TikTok ask me about some moving bait stuff. So I'm going to give my top three favorites. This is kind of continuing on into the Arsenal videos slash new rods slash I, it's kind of all getting blurred in together now. So let's roll that intro and we'll check these things out. All right, guys, so I'm trying to decide what order I want to do these in. We'll just go ahead and go with my favorite one, mostly because the time of year, it's fall. We're going to be throwing a lot of spinner baits. At least I'm throwing a lot of spinner baits. If you're not, you're missing out. Get you a good spinner bait and go have some fun with it. So up first, this is the Lose Custom Speed Stick. I've got it paired with a BB1 Pro and a 6-2 to 1 gear ratio. That's a tour grade Strike King. Uh, spinnerbait on there. So let's talk about the reel real quick. Get the reel out of the way because everybody knows I've I've been using this reel for a long time. BB1 Pro, 20 pounds of drag. This is the six two to one gear ratio. I believe it's a ten bearing system, just like all the other high end lose reels they have. Ultra smooth. It's got paddle style grips on it instead of wind grip. It's a workhorse. It absolutely just hammers everything I throw at it. It has no issues whatsoever bringing in these big spinner baits, bringing in the fish that are on those big spinner baits. It's got a lot of torque to it. It does have a clicking drag. And I know that weird some people out. I don't know why, but I'll let you hear it real quick. I don't know why that bothers people so much, but I know it does. It bothers some people. I like the clicking drag. It doesn't really bother me at all. It just gives me something fun to listen to while I'm fighting a fish in. So let's talk about the rod. This rod is a beast. They call it the Magnum Hammer. I don't know why they call it that, but I love it. Um, so first and foremost, the coolest thing about this rod is the real seat. And I've got it torqued, so I got it. There we go. So if you'll notice where I am twisting, I'm twisting the handle down here. The handle is what twists in and out and adjusts so the real seat has a constant contact blank at all times. It, it's, it's a phenomenal style of real seat that they have. You can torque that thing down. And I love the way it feels. By having on this new locking system here, there's a name for it that I'll tell you here in a second. It allows for this constant contact on the blank here. If you'll notice, your blank is always on your fingertips, the way that I hold mine anyway. I don't know how everybody else holds theirs, but the way I hold mine, I am constantly touching that blank. This is a seven foot, three inch, medium heavy fast. Uh, it is rated to throw up to five eighths of an ounce lure. This is a half ounce spinnerbait, so it will throw it a country mile. Has a lot of flex to the tip. I really enjoy the rod overall. Uh, very comfortable in my hand probably one of the most comfortable rod and reel combos I have uh, as far as just holding it and being able to uh, wrist cast all day long and not get fatigue, wrist fatigue out of it because some of the bigger baits, your wrist starts to hurt after a while. All right, next rod and reel combo up. Let's talk about the Thunder Cricket rod and reel that I'm using. This is the Team Lose Custom Pro Speed Stick. Uh, I guess if you want to get technical, this is the next step up from the custom that I just showed you. I don't really know the differences. Or, I mean, I know the differences, but I don't know if there is custom to a custom pro. I don't know if that's how that works or not. But as far as the rod goes, very nice rod overall. We've got cork and EVA foam grips. Uh, very comfortable in your hand. It is beveled, as you can see. Uh, the rod is also a Magnum Hammer 7.3 Medium Heavy Fast. Everybody knows the 7.3 Medium Heavy Fast is just, it's kind of my bread and butter. That's what I really, really like. Uh, yet again, this is rated through a 5 eighths of an ounce. Guess what? That's a half ounce Thunder Cricket. I don't know how much weight the Blade Mina is on there, but I do know that I can cast it a country mile. Now, real seat. Notice here, you also have constant contact with your real seat. The locking nut up here, everybody was talking about how they were sharp edges. Lou's answered that, they beveled those down. They're no longer sharp edges, so if your finger rests up there, you will not get blisters up there anymore. Uh, the real, it's the Lou's Tournament 
SLP. This is an old school reel. I've had this one for a really long time. It's been a great reel. Uh, 7.5 to 1 gear ratio or 7.3. I can't remember now. 7.5, 10 bearing system. I do have the custom Gomexis handle on it, but the handles that come on it are just as great. Uh, I believe it's 16 or 20 pounds of drag. I'm not exactly sure. I'll give you all of the details when we roll that B-roll. Each Team Lose Custom Pro Series rod blank is precision crafted with the LFS X5 Nano technology, delivering maximum sensitivity from an outer core consisting of 85 modulus graphite. Tangle-free SS316 stainless steel guides feature zirconium inserts for smooth line flow. Nothing but the best A-grade cork palm swell handles with EVA and Dura cork inlay for advanced comfort and performance. All right, guys. Up next, and probably the one that I am the most excited about, is the all-new 2023 Hyperspeed. At one time, this was a exclusive to Tackle Warehouse. Uh, but now it is available to everybody for 2023, and this thing is a beast. It is the fastest reel that I've ever used in my life. I've never had a reel this fast. It is a 9, 5 to 1 gear ratio, so naturally, I have it on a buzz bait because that's something that I like to be able to burn back if I need to. And fun fact, guys, there's no reel on the market that can out swim a bass. Bass have incredible speeds. There's no reel on the market that'll out reel it. So you don't have to worry about that. Nine five to one gear ratio. It is a 10 or 11 bearings, 10 bearing system, uh, nine five to one. I can't remember the inches per turn, but we will go over that when we roll the B-roll. Yet again, we've got the Lose Custom Black Rod Magnum Hammer, 7.3, medium heavy, fast. Let's roll some B-roll and check it out. The Custom Speed Stick features a G-clutch handle system made with Midas Touch technology. This allows direct contact with the premium HM60 graphite blank, which means zero barriers between the angler and the blank. Fuji Concept O guide, stainless steel corrosion resistant hook keepers, split grip EVA handles with Duralock inlays make the redesigned custom speed stick series from Lose a force to be reckoned with on the water. We went over the custom pro, the custom speed sticks. Guys, those are three of my all time favorite moving bait rods. Uh, let me rephrase that, single hook moving bait rods. Uh, now we will go over treble hook baits uh, in one of the next videos. I don't know when that'll come, but I'll go over that eventually. Um, absolutely love the rods. I, I'm, I'm so blessed and just extremely excited to be with Luz and Mock Nation and Strike King and be able to be fishing these rods and reels and just doing the things I'm doing with these are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, guys, if y'all like these videos, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. That's going to help out. It's probably going to get me back into making videos knowing that you guys are actually out there watching, commenting for me. Um, you know, if, if you guys aren't here commenting with me, there's, I just have no desire to really make them. So get on there. Interact with me. Let's talk. Like, comment, subscribe. Notifications on. I think I went over that. Let me know any of these rods. Have you used any of them? What about the reels? What do y'all think about that hyperspeed? Am I right? That hyperspeed is pretty freaking sweet. Hopefully I got some fishing content coming for you guys here real soon. We had an issue with Big Bass Tour video footage. I don't know if I got it fixed by the time I'm filming this. Like I'm filming this, it'll come out in a week or two. I don't know if I got the Big Bass Tour video footage fixed or not. I hope I did. I'm not sure though. So with that being said, you all take care and we'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, notifications on, all that jazz. Take care guys.